Every weekend, thousands of men, women and children go fishing. That's for fun. And then it becomes serious and they go angling for prizes. The biggest prize in fishing is this. It's Fishermania. We've got 24 anglers all around the lake ready to battle it out for a first prize of £50,000. So let's get things started with the All In. <laughs> it's the sound they were all dreaming of in the middle of the night. The start of Fishermania 26. A festival of fishing. We hope a carnival of carp. Well, here's one of the characters of the sport. Like everybody here today, he started angling. It was a little bit of fun. But as you'll hear, he now can't go fishing unless it is serious. It has been very busy down there on peg two. Three times winner, legend of angling, Jamie Hughes has already got a hat trick, Keith. And they're quality fish as well. He's had that big common first, and he's had two of the, the famous Hayfield ghosties that are proper bruisers. When you look at the size of these fish, there are thousands and thousands of smaller fish in here, and yet on Fishermania, the big ones really stick their head out, don't they? This is Christian Jones, who is the second youngest competitor, only 20 years of age. He has... Well, he's not new to Fishermania, because he was part of the junior fish show a couple of years ago. He comes from Ellesmere Port on Merseyside. Well, I say Merseyside, if you live around there, they claim it's a Cheshire postcode, but he, he, he's from Merseyside. Uh, loves his darts, loves his fishing, and he's loving the limelight. And there's that deep, shallow method again. You see he's fishing with, with that little dumpy float, and that's a pellet waggler designed for fishing shallow. The three times champion, Jamie Hughes, made a, an excellent start. Somebody just whispered in my ear, Jamie's got a whopper. They were talking about this. That's a, that's a cracking fish. It's another one of those lovely ghost carp uh, that inhabit this lake. Jamie Hughes on peg two. People said peg two might be the problem peg. Not for Jamie, not the, for the three-time Fishermania champion. Here we go here. Now, I'm on the transfer desk at Sky at the moment, and Sky sources tell me he's got a whopper. God, that looks heavy. Here we go. So they're about to weigh now. There's two there. And there's one in particular that looks extremely heavy. Let's have a look at how much it weighs. Six kilos, 225 grams. Six kilos, 225 grams. Very happy fans over here, aren't you? Jamie Hughes fans, plenty there. It's a great start for Jamie Hughes. Well, look at that. He said last night when he got pegged to Jamie Hughes that he was not happy with it. Come the middle of Saturday afternoon, he's going to be absolutely delighted. But you can see where the fish are being caught from pegs to to nine particularly, and then at the other end of the lake as well, on twig, pegs 23 and 24, and then over there, right in the middle of the lake, peg 13, Vince Cross. Thank you, Kelly. At the far end of the lake, right at the opposite end of Hayfield, on peg one, is Jordan Holloway, who had moved down into 12th place after the last weigh-in. But as you heard Steve and Keith giving us our demonstration, there was a round of applause in the back. It wasn't for the lads, it was for this young man, the 20-year-old, because he was getting admiration from those who have gathered on the bank to see him in his first final. That was one. This was a short while ago. Who says that you don't need to be athletic? Look at that over there. Absolutely huge. That is absolutely huge. So I'm waiting to get that weighed. This is a whopper. But this could shoot Jordan right up the ladder. Nine kilos, 775 grams. Nine kilos, 775 grams. Simon Skelton, just under 10 kilos in that weigh-in. And he is way ahead of the pack at the moment. But there's a lot of activity on the banks. And this was that big fish that made all of the difference between himself and Andy Bennett, who's at the moment dropped down into second place. Peg six, third place. Was leading going into the last weigh-in, Keith? Yeah, and I saw him have a little look on the pole. Obviously, it wasn't that successful look. Steve said he saw, he saw him land one, and it must have been a smaller fish, so it looks like he's gone back out on the pellet waggler because he was definitely shipping out a pole when I saw him. A decent fish, you know, that's three kilos three there, kilo maybe. Above, yeah. yeah. Getting on for seven pounds. They're, they're, they're big fish. In match fishing terms, they're big fish. I mean, that's pretty perfect as far as Jamie's concerned. 
Jamie Hughes, second place, three kilos behind Simon Skelton. Well, let's get down to the leader, Simon Skelton. This is his way, Michael Bridge. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, number five, Simon Skelton is the only place to be, isn't it, at the moment. And peg five, Simon Skelton is in the lead. But it is neck and neck here, it's so tight. It's the final hour, the most exciting hour. Three kilos, 600 grams. Beautiful afternoon here on the outskirts of Doncaster. Good place to come for your summer holidays. While you've been talking, uh, Rob, I noticed that uh, Simon's caught one and what he put in his net. He's picked his pole up and gone out and got one, and so has Andy Bennett. He's back on the pole and caught a fish. So they've had two fish since this last weigh-in, both of them. So at the minute, it looks like they just look in front. 33 minutes of angling left. That means we've got three minutes to the next hooter, which signals the next weigh-in. Doesn't matter whether he gets in in the next three minutes or not, but what he wants to do is have that psychological advantage of getting it in there, getting it in the bag, getting it weighed and putting the pressure on Hughes See, and Jordan I'm not, Holloway. I'm not sure about that. I'd rather have one in the net that no-one knows about. See, I see. I, th I, I disagree, Keith. I think now he puts everybody under pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what, he, what he's doing now, they've got to catch a fish to catch him, where he's now concentrating on his next fish. That's just me. That's because <laughs> I'm sneaky. That's because you're old. Yeah, that is. <laughs> old school. <laughs> this is the best part of Fishman. We absolutely love it. Simon Skelton was in the lead. Remember, it is his debut. See what we've got here. There is nothing in it. Will it be Jamie Hughes again, or will we get a debutant on Fishermania? Oh, oh, it's oh. There's nothing in it. So let's have a look. It needs to be three kilograms or so to put to take the lead at this late stage. Four kilos, six hundred and fifty. Four kilos, six fifty. Oh, unbelievable. Peg five's got one on the pole, so that's going to take him back to. What does it need to be? Two kilo? That could take him could take him back two and a half kilo to take him back in the lead. So a majority of fishing here are that sort of size. It's not been we've not seen many under two kilos today, no, have we? No. Put it that way. They've made a dis oh. oh it's come off. Oh. He's lost it. Oh, oh dear, dear, dear. You know, sometimes things like that happen. It's He's got to keep, get his mind back on what he's doing and go back out and try to pick, pick another fish up. He's quick at putting a pellet in a band, isn't he, Steve? Yeah, Did very quick. That? Welcome back. We have got you hooked. While you're away for a couple of minutes, there has been a lot of activity out there on Hayfield Lake. The leader, Andy Bennett, has backed. Remember, just before we went to the break, he lost a fish. He currently has a lead of, what, about three and a half, or two and a half kilos over Simon Skelton. But beware, because Simon Skelton, his neighbour out there on peg five, also has a fish in the net. But one more fish either way, Jamie. Jamie has lost another fish, seven, seven minutes remaining. Fish, yeah. Is that going to be the turning point for the three times champion? Won it in 13, won it in 15, won it in 2017. It's not looking good for 2019. It appears that that trophy is going to be on the mantelpiece of the Oasis fan. He's singing along, isn't he, to the songs, Andy Bennett. We know that he's got a couple of fish in the bag, but how big is the single fish of Melton Mowbray's Simon Skelton? This is that big fish he caught. This is, this is the fish we just I think that's a five-kilo fish. Oh, oh, that's not far off, you know, isn't it? That's, that's a big fish. That's a five-kilo fish, yeah. Or Remember, if you close. don't know you're angling, the fish go back in the water, though. I'm sure you'd like to frame that one. <laughs> that, that's what Keith used to call a, a Barney Rubble. Yeah, Barney Rubble, double figure. <laughs> I've never known this place so quiet. No. Normally, every fish, people are screaming and shouting. It's quiet down. There's a lot of tension here today. In fact, the framing of that shot there, if that camera just panned up about a metre, the bank behind him is absolutely rampant. <laughs> Look at that. There's your winner. Yep, yep. Come to Daddy. The bag out is bagged up. As yeah. he looks at that fish, he sees a reflection of fifty thousand pounds in its eyes. Yeah. He knows he knows he's won it now. He don't want to miss the net with it, does he? We are into ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> 
Well, well, we well, think we know who the champion is. We think that it's Andy Bennett, but the gripping action doesn't stop here. One of the most exciting climaxes to Fisher Mania, but it all comes down to the final half hour. And what a brilliant final half hour we had. And just to get that final confirmation, Andy Bennett, his first time. Oh, look at that. I mean, unbelievable. Where is he? Here we go. You just have to wait for them to yep. hold. Yep. Eight kilos, 725 grams. Eight kilos, 725 grams for Andy Bennett. So we know what that means. We have a new champion of Fisher Mania, qualified from Partridge Lakes, his Fisher Mania debut. Andy Bennett from Manchester played Oasis all afternoon, but he is electric. Andy, congratulations.